Come, come. And here's Axel and here's little Rosie. Axel, Ro Rosie. It's hard work getting the stables clean, needless to say, making their beds, um, which are all ready for them. Get warm hose down and put their little blankets on, what I call their pajamas. You get into your Jimmy Jamanas, don't you? Mm. Woo -woo -woo. I tell you what, it's something most people have done. I work out, it's usually Fila and Russell Athletic, love it. Oh no, I've got to clean before I start and then clean when you end. Do we make it from scratch? Oh yeah. Out of a packet? Oh, double yeah. It's give and take, it's give and take. Oh. Hi, welcome to Indira's World again. Today is Q&A day, very interesting. But before that, I just wanted to say, in case you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, Indira's World. Also, I did do a very interesting thing on my animals and how I rescued them. In case you've missed that one, don't forget. So it's a great day today because the sun is shining and the snow is residual out there on the fields, which is beautiful. So I've got all these questions and answers, so I may as well get on with it, right? Oh, that's Ella, by the way. Ella, say hi. You got it all, all, all so I looked, oh, look at this one. How would you describe yourself in five words? Kid that never grows up. That's about right. Oh, here's a good one. What's the worst mess I've made in the kitchen? Hmm. I tell you what, it's something most people have done. Forgotten to put the cover on a food processor? It's everywhere. And of course, that's when you go, oh no, I've got to clean before I start and then clean when you end. Well, here's one. How often do you write your songs? Now, there's a few parts to this one. Usually, when I'm in a sad mood, I'll produce the worst songs ever in terms of making you cry. When I'm happy, they're happy. And then sometimes I'm under duress when I've been told to write a song, and then it goes from there. I did do nine songs once in nine days when I was in Portugal, when I went to write an album, and I produced nine songs for nine different producers. Well, lyrics. I don't do the music. That's part one. And um, in terms of uh, uh, how it turns out, um, I did a song years ago called Shrink and I re-released it with a new remix. And as of two days ago, I this morning when I checked on it, it was 43,000 views because Shrink at this time, I thought I'd throw this one in because um, people are going through a lot of depression and I think people are aware now and something that didn't actually make much sense a little while ago is now making a lot of sense in terms of the song. So it's interesting how songs are viewed at different times of the year. I did diverse a bit, but that's okay. Where did I grow up? Well, now there's a, an enigma. Have I grown up? Uh, no, I grew up in Mumbai. I was born in Mumbai, Bombay, when I was growing up. And I did come here for a few years to England for my schooling went back and did university and my post-graduation, and then was living there, married my childhood sweetheart, who I met on the tennis circuit. We've been married 39 years, and we moved here about uh, since 1992, and I've been here since. So that's kind of sums it all up, and I'm planning to hang around for a while. Hmm, what do I like doing in my spare time? Um, I love watching the news. I play with my dogs, I muck out my horses, give them cuddles whenever I can, um, love working in the stables, love working out in the gym. I do a lot of working out in the gym. Um, I have a gym here and uh, it's pretty much one of my favorite times of the day, so I usually five to six and of course I love cooking. I have no kids but I have a lot of surrogate people on the farm who are like my children and I cook and cook and cook and cook. Ah, please write a cookery book. Well, funny you should say that because I'm actually in the process of doing that. Um, my cook in India inspired me, Joey, and uh, right from when I was a kid. And so I decided I was going to write a book called By Joe I Can Cook because it's all Joey's recipes. He passed away just a few months ago. So in memory of my lovely Joey, I will write a book. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. 
what age did I start cooking? Well, honestly, I used to come home from school or university and I'd sit on the little stool in the kitchen and Joey, my cook, um, would kind of cook in front of me and I kept watching him and he told me how to learn how to cook is through taste, smell and touch, which is how I kind of developed cooking. And then when I moved to England in 1992 and I had to do my own cooking, I kind of started experimenting a lot. And um, from there it went. As a result, I actually don't follow recipes. I have to do them for my show. Of course, I have to follow a recipe, but um, usually I make them up and then check what's written in my head and then I put them down on paper and that's what you guys get. So there you go. Hmm, what is my favorite fashion brand at the moment? Well, let me see. When I work out, it's usually Fila and Russell Athletic. Love it. My husband is connected to it, so hence. In terms of shoes and bags, it's usually Chanel. I love Ferragamo and uh, Gucci, but I have a room that's converted into a walk-in wardrobe. This is the very pathetic side of me, materialistic side, dare I say it. Uh, but that's another show, I think, altogether. Maybe we can walk through it at some stage. In terms of clothing, I do like, um, let me see, I do, I mean, it's almost a mixture. I do like um, wools from certain areas, my cashmere is from certain areas, and my cotton stuff is different. I do love Carolina Herrera. I love Chanel in terms of jackets. That kind of says a little bit about me, which is a bit embarrassing, so... Let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> oh, what made me start a YouTube channel? Well, I think it's pretty um, obvious that through the lockdown, everybody had to uh, go through a lot of mental changes and um, I have to keep myself busy at all times. And I find that reinventing myself can help. And my interest was cooking. It was something I had access to, which was my kitchen. There was a lot of people out there, super fit and 18 years old, who were doing fitness on YouTube. So I decided to take the easy way out and do the cooking. No, actually, I love cooking. So um, that's why I started the YouTube channel. And like I say, this is a time to reinvent yourself and keep yourself busy. It's very, very important to keep your mind, body, you know, your intellect, everything working, because otherwise it's not a good time for everybody. So make the best of this. If you are watching this now and you haven't subscribed to Indira's World, you're missing out. You don't want to be missing out. <laughs> the first country I visit when lockdown is over. Now this is a, a very tough decision because obviously I'd love to visit India and see my sister and my family. Um, but also um, I'd like to go to Spain in Marbella where I have my summer home. Uh, well, should I say winter home? And I would love to go there because I haven't been able to go there for a while. So it's a tough choice, but um, I'm tending towards going back home to India to see my family, how I'm coping with lockdown. I love the farm and I rescue animals on the farm, as you know, and uh, horses, dogs, goats, uh, birds, etc. How I'm coping with lockdown is uh, bonding a lot with my animals. I spend a lot of time in the stables. I'm doing my own mucking out now. Um, I don't have someone coming in and doing the grooming like I used to. Um, so it's a few hours in the morning I do that. I train for an hour and a half every evening. I'm cooking for about two hours a day. Uh, and I do some songwriting and I watch my news and that's how I cope with my lockdown because if I don't, I think I'd go insane. And I think it's very important to have some kind of uh, routine, but at the same time, don't make your routines very rigid because if you have problems with pressure, um, you can put yourself under pressure. So make sure you have flexible routines. The day you don't want to do something, don't do it. Okay, this is my last question, which is, well, should I say my last answer, which is who is my inspiration? Um, I can't actually put that into one person because that's really not fair. In music, my inspiration is George Harrison and Brian Adams. In terms of my uh, values, I think my inspiration, um, in terms of my spiritual values, has got to have been my mother. In terms of ambition and strength of body and mind, it is definitely my father. 
who was extremely uh, strong-minded and physically strong. Um, in terms of uh, inspiration, in terms of my cooking was my cook Joey. In terms of my songwriting, as I said, um, and but I have to say, one of my biggest inspirations is my husband because I'm not trying to be like this, ha ha, Valentine Day special, but um, he is actually one of the finest human beings I've ever come across. And uh, I've known him 42 years and uh, it's not enough on that note. Well, I hope Ella and I have given you some answers to some of the stuff and you got to know me a wee bit better. And um, just a little hint about what's to come. Have you ever cheated on your Valentine? Do you want to cheat on Valentine's Day? Well, I do. The velvet cake. Do we make it from scratch? Oh yeah. Out of a packet? Oh, double yeah. So let's do this. So there you have it, it's your homemade Valentine's Day cake, cheating a bit. You can cheat on your Valentine, but you made the effort, and that's what matters. Now if you like this video, don't forget to tune into Indira's World, and I have so many other videos coming up, interesting stuff, insights into different people's worlds, different way we live, and also, honestly, have a lovely, lovely weekend. That was my dog sneezing. Uh, okay, Axel, whatever you say. Um, happy Valentine's Day and bless you, Axel. And have a lovely weekend. I'll see you later. Bye bye. I've hit a wall. Yes, I've hit a wall.